I'm going to play a five-minute clip by Nuff Respect, one of the best YouTube directors out there. He Remember a few months ago I did an analysis with pen and paper on the document cam here in studio of how the two-party systems keep you in a control paradigm from getting outside the box and seeing the big picture. I want to encourage everybody listening. We need to shatter the left-right paradigm, and he's done a great job, put a lot of work uh, into this. 62,000 people have seen this in the months since he put it out. I didn't find this till last night. We linked to it, another 10,000 watched it in the last few hours. I need this to go mega viral. But I want to thank enough respect and all the folks that are on YouTube doing things like this because that's how we're force multiplying. That's how we're having a uh, gigantic effect out there with people. I wanted to draw a picture uh, for listeners out there, a very simple, crude picture that describes effectively the false left-right paradigm. The Republican Party props up the Democratic Party, and the Democratic Party props up the Republican Party. If you had one of the political parties standing on its own, standing on its own, when the wind came along, it would just fall over. When pressure, revolutionary pressure from the population, not liking what's going on, or new groups wanting the power structure, which is the main source of uh, revolution, most of it is driven by evil, just like the elite is driven by evil. Very rare to have an altruistic revolution. By itself, a single-party system will fall over. Okay? But... If you take the two party systems and you lean them up against each other, this is basically the arch. Their force going together keeps them together and makes it become a very strong, stable platform on which they can build their hierarchical New World Order system. Okay? So the current two party system has been dominated and bought up and controlled by the elite that sits atop it. Now the elite with a one party system would not be balanced on top of one party. They would be subject to being toppled, being pushed over easily. But you put the two parties up against each other, they form a royal arch. And now it's very hard to separate those two because they're leaning up against each other. I mean, this is really simple, but I want to explain this to people. Check it out, folks. Why do you see so many leftists who mean well, like Rage Against the Machine, Tom Morello, or Henry Rollins, who are right on so many issues but then believe in leftist policies? We need a global carbon tax, but there's an elite funding that. No, 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 the elite, the big corporations are against it because the media advertises that big corporations and oil companies are against it. Henry Rollins doesn't know, doesn't have the documents. He doesn't understand that actually that's part of a sophisticated game that, oh, the big corporations say publicly, we don't want this, it's bad, while they actually fund it. They know the public's awake to the fact that they're corrupt, so the public will be fooled and go and support the agenda. It's please don't throw me in the briar patch. It's the old uh, briar rabbit situation. Here's the political field. And, and this is where the population resides. And then we supposedly, through the grassroots, come up into the political party. Okay? And then they lean on each other, as I was saying earlier, and support each other. If they're standing alone, the pressure of revolution or of new power structures will easily topple it and blow it over. But leaning together, it's not going to fall down. Okay? Now, I know that's simple, but, but let me give you an everyday example of this. As I said, the left sees all of these evil mainline Republicans who we know are liars and who the media even exposes as being liars. They see them lying about everything else. So if the Republicans come out and say, we're against a global carbon tax, well, then, by God, I'm for a global carbon tax. And so that's how the two sides leaning up against each other give the other side support. And so Democrats over here, Republicans over here, Republicans attack Barack Obama. 
And then the Democrats attack John McCain. And then the population who's down here is trained to see John McCain as representing them personally, as being their daddy, of where their personal power comes from, of their camp, their brand name, their 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 brand of soda, their brand of automobile, Ford or Chevy. And so this is a controlled paradigm. And so we have we have Republicans attacking Democrats, and that's the force against them. And you have Democrats attacking Republicans, and that's the force against them. And really, it's one unit supporting themselves and containing revolution so that the people who were down here never learn that there is a world outside of this controlled paradigm. We are locked within the left-right paradigm. And then it becomes this huge pageant, this huge distraction where we analyze every every facet of the two political parties, never realizing they themselves are simply a front or puppets for a larger power structure. Now, this is incredibly simple, but that's how this works. And, and then the two parties can limit the issues that are debated to this control paradigm. They can limit the scope of differences, which, if you look at it, there's almost no difference between the two, instead of getting the people to look outside the box at the wider world. Get out there and take on the New World Order. Expose who's really behind this, this video on controlled politics. You may know all about this stuff, but your friends and family don't. So please, take this video, How the Elite Control Politics. It's very simple. It'll be very effective. Get it out to people. Thank you for joining us in the battle for the republic and free humanity. Take care.